I guess you can't ask for much more than what this team did tonight. Your thoughts? No, everyone came to play. Um, I thought we kept it really simple and we worked hard. And, um, you know, we had uh, all four lines going. Everyone contributed offensively. Um, uh, probably the one player that I thought uh, was our best for it stayed off the score sheet. I was like Brandon Gaunt. But, uh, you know, I we was happy with everyone, how they played. They uh, certainly kept the shift short and worked hard. And uh, certainly in games like that, you can get into uh, bad habits, but uh, everyone was focused and uh, just stayed with the program. It seemed like they learned their lesson. They jumped, they jumped out in front of London quick and let them back into it. You guys definitely didn't allow it to happen this time. Well, a little, little different situation where, you know, London's a, a league team in the CHL, so. But certainly, uh, we didn't want to them back in the game. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing was uh, discipline, not giving up too many penalties. Game three. Um, but, you know, I think for them to get back in the game at that time, you know, we would have uh, had to be undisciplined, given them opportunities, but, uh, but we didn't. Knowing when you do get a large lead like that, you know that the game can get chippy the way it does. How do you, as a, as a head coach, you know, say, keep your cool? don't get involved in too much garbage that's going on? Well, I think this time of the year, everyone's focused on what's next, and they don't want uh, suspensions coming up, so I didn't have to say much. So, you know, obviously, I've been on the other side of bad games, and the players get frustrated, and uh, I certainly want to show the coach that you're still working, and that chippiness uh, arises, but, um, you know, I thought it was a well-played game on, um, you know, uh, you know, there's some rough things at the end, but uh, certainly not to know how to hand. Uh, so you just touch on your next opponent's Windsor, correct? Yes. And you just touch on, on playing them and seeing them go? Well, uh, Windsor's uh, um, hot and cold throughout this year, and we saw them when the, uh, at the beginning of the year when they really gave it to us, 8-4, and then uh, we returned the favor. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure what to expect because uh, they can be very good. They beat some good teams this year, and um, so, you know, I... I I certainly expect that they're going to be um, on top of their game uh, come Friday. The same thing with Kitchener, they've given you some, some tough battles this year. Yeah, what, uh, you know, one of the teams that we have troubles keeping off the score sheet is Kitchener. Uh, they've scored six goals against them three times, so uh, certainly we'll have to um, be good defensively if we're going to be there. Um, can you just talk about the play of the fourth line tonight, uh, Wood and, uh, and uh, Murphy? Yeah, those three played very well, and uh, they uh, got re reward with some power play time. Uh, unfortunately, it was only for eight seconds. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think those three are working extremely hard. When you have three guys skating, pursuing the puck as hard as they are, they create a lot of turnovers, and they spend a lot of time in the offensive zone. And, you know, I think if one guy took a, a shift off, they would be very successful. But uh, the fact that the three of them are working that hard together, uh, that's the biggest reason why they're having... Um, the success that they are.